Hi, Steven here from Core Electronics. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to assemble your slim case for the Raspberry Pi 3B+. So the slim case is made out of five layers of sandwiched acrylic, um, clear and black. And they will show you in this video how we put it all together. What we'll need for tools is just a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver. When you receive your case, it's going to come with the paper still on it, sandwiched together. So we'll take the layers apart. And the first thing we need to do is peel off the paper off of each layer. So using the paper peeler to save your fingernails to get the paper started, um, peel up an edge on each, each piece and peel the paper back. It'll save you um, a lot of time later on if you're careful not to get the layers real dusty or get fingerprints all over them right when you take the paper off because that's the cleanest it's ever gonna be. And if you do choose to clean off acrylic, don't use isopropyl alcohol or a cleaner, just use a dry, lint-free cloth. One of the layers is a pretty thin middle layer of acrylic. Be really careful with working this layer. It won't be able to handle much bending at all before it'll break. So now that we've got most of the paper off, there's gonna be a little bit stuck between the letters um, on this top sheet. If you just take the edge of your paper peeler and drag it along over the letters, that will pull those last little pieces of paper out cleanly so you don't need to pick out them one at a time. And then there we go, we have our layers all ready to go. Take your Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus board. The first thing we want to do is take that thin layer. Let's get a piece of paper left on here. We want to take the thin layer and lower in the Raspberry Pi from the top with the notches in the thin layer facing up. So then they'll fit around the, the different fixtures on the board. And we want the bottom of the board to be flush with the bottom of that layer. Next, we'll take our black layer, which is marked this side up to keep it clear. And the opening will go on the SD card slot side so we can have access to the SD card slot. And then the bottom layer lines up so the notch is over the SD card slot as well. And the recesses for the nuts will face down. Finally, we take our top layer and lower it into place, pushing down on it ev evenly, really lightly, just to make sure it seats. And then let's get our hardware out of the bag. You'll have four screws and four nuts. I found that an easy way to do this is just to put the four screws in first through the holes, hold each nut into the recess, and screw it down from the top. Now the bolts don't need to be very tight at all. They just need to be tight enough to be snug. So be careful not to over tighten or the screws can crush the acrylic because these stainless screws have a lot more hold than you need to have in this, in this application. Great, there we have it. Our assembled case for the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. And uh, now you can Use your board without having to worry about getting stray fingers on the board or damaging the sensitive electronics. You still have access to the GPIO pins and you could put a hat or whatever you like on that. Thanks for watching.